Hi, everybody. Dan Curry here. Got a guitar in my hands. One of the reasons I do is because of something that you guys are celebrating today, and that is the life of one of your great citizens, Doc Watson. Thank you so much for inviting me to, to be in on that celebration because Doc meant a lot to me and to many millions of people around the world. I guess the first thing I would say to you enlightened folks in uh, Boone, North Carolina that are celebrating Doc today uh, is that it's really remarkable for a city to celebrate a guitar player. Cities celebrate generals and they celebrate uh, presidents and uh, scientists and m many people who deserve out of history to be remembered. But for somebody to celebrate a guy that went out and played the guitar, that's really incredible. Thank you for doing that. And here's why I think that's important. Doc Watson was a brilliant player. He was a really interesting guy to talk to. Uh, he was a man of the world in spite of what some might have called a disability. Uh, but in addition to that, he changed the world. And his music made a big difference in millions of people's lives, and i just like to say a word about that. You know, when I was a kid in 1952 starting to play the guitar, I was the only guitar player I knew. In my high school of 1,800 kids, uh, I was the only guitar player in that high school. Hard to imagine, because today, the guitar is the most played instrument in the world. Somewhere I read that there are uh, 20 or 30 guitars made in the world for every other one of every other musical instrument. And there's a reason for that. Some of the reasons uh, walked around on two legs and inspired the world, and one of those guys was Doc Watson. The thing about music is that when you get people to play music together, it changes them. It makes them have a different perspective on things. It gives them happiness and joy and settles them down. It's good for their health, and it's really good for the way people get along together. When Doc Watson appeared on the scene, nobody had heard the guitar played like that very much. The number of flat pickers in America, and by the way, the word flat picker refers to playing a steel string guitar like this one with a, with a plectrum. Doc played many styles, but for uh, flat picking, this style that is the only one that I can play, uh, he was the master at this. He was the father figure and, and uh, more influential on it than anybody ever was. And uh, it changed a lot of people's lives. Today, millions of people play this instrument. And part of it is because they were inspired by the music of Doc Watson and what he did. Old time music, uh, bluegrass with flattened scrugs and uh, many great heroes and uh, thousands of performances across America and what it did was to bring people together, teach them what was possible on the instrument, and uh, make things a lot better in their lives. It was great to know Doc a little bit personally and have conversations with him. We'd sit backstage a little bit and he'd ask me about what had been going on with me and uh, uh, was, was always uh, ex expressing interest in my life. And then he'd tell me a story about himself or two. And he said, uh, you know, I just got me a shortwave radio. And I said, well, Doc, that's interesting. Why did you do that? He said, I wasn't sure that the news that I was getting was as complete as I wanted it to be. And so Doc wanted to hear the news from the BBC. So he got himself a big shortwave radio, by gosh, and uh, installed the antenna himself. He couldn't see that antenna, but he installed it on his garage and was listening across the oceans uh, to the BBC. Doc Watson was the man of the world. He also had a great sense of humor, and those of us who were privileged to play a little bit with him on stage found it to be a terrifying experience in a sense. It was beautiful, but it was scary because you didn't want to make mistakes in front of the guy who was the greatest player who ever lived. So uh, on the other hand, if you did make a mistake, Doc was gracious about it, and sometimes he'd make one himself just for fun and then laugh about it in order to be in on it with you. It was so great, and you never came away from an opportunity to visit with Doc or to play music with him, but what you realized that this, this was somebody who went out from North Carolina and changed things and made them better, and you had been in the presence of one of God's most 
brilliant human beings that he ever had walk this earth. So thanks a lot for this celebration, you guys. Doc Watson was one of the greats. He was a real, real solid, wonderful human being and a man of his world that changed that world. And he's worthy of the celebration that you give him today. And thank you for having me in on it. We love to think back on the famous, the wonderful, the beautiful Doc Watson. Thank you.